Ei, Lucas, como é que tá? Não, esse thumbnail aqui é tranquilo. Não é sus, não. Eu tô te dizendo. Ok. Hello and welcome to Corpse Factory. Where... We're doing... Stuff. Corpse. We discovered that um, Corpsey Girl has power. So, we are going to keep going on the journey that has been started. Last time we stopped at the uh, first act, which took me a long, long time to finish reading. But right now, we are at the middle of carting phones. So here we go. Last of Frigid New of Eat when I step out of the restaurant. If I'd known the weather was going to take a turn for the brought my scarf and jacket. It's the end of spring, so unpredictable cold weather is pretty rare. I guess I can't be for not bundling up. Anyway, it's not raining, and I am close to home, so it shouldn't be a problem. I head down the street and watch a few shops on closing Forest for the night. They don't pay mind as I wander by. My phone bursts to life and rings out the quiet night air. I grab it and press it close to my ear arm. Hello? Aoi? Hi Aoi! Noriko? Hello. Um is this a bad time? I have all the time of the word for you. No, no, I'm just walking home. You're out at this time of night? That's... that's not like you. I know, I know. I stopped somewhere to eat. What's up? You stopped to eat? Exactly. Um, say, about the new job. You got it. Hmm? What is it? I spoke to the manager at the maid cafe, but he said I can't quit. What? He said that? 
Oh, well, it's not up to him. You have every right to quit. Did you tell him you've landed a new job? Yes, I told him. But he said he spent so much time and money training me that if I quit now, he'll treat it as stealing from the company and he'll call the police. What? Excuse me. What? Oh, what a load of crap. Hang on. Are you at the cafe now? Yes, I just finished my shift. We're closing up. I'll be right there. I'm only a minute away anyway. I'm going to give your manager a piece of my mind. Yeah, but he deserves it. No, Noriko, you can't... Too late. Just watch me. I'll be right there. I in the, I in the call despite all his objections. I can't believe how furious I am. Aoi finally has escaped route from... From the god awful job and now the manager won't let her quit? That has to be illegal. I never met her manager, but I can't just imagine his type. A self-important wretched Okay, there you go. A self-important wretch to greedy pig. Thinks he he's a king of the world because he runs a shady... Get the fuck out. He runs a shady maid cafe in the back street? Well, I won't stand it for it. People like him are the ones who should be reported to Corpsy Girl's website. I'd love to target victims like that. I change direction and take up the running, uh, run, a patrol, running pace. The cool air against my face is kind of not. Please don't. God, hold on. The cool air against my face is kind of kind of nice now that my body is warming up. Thankfully, thankfully, it's hard, hardly an, anyone around this time of night, so I don't feel particularly embarrassed by running. I'm not a terrible fit person, so it it isn't long before I feel out brie out of brie. I just hi, Death God. How are you doing? I come to a stop at the end of this having and clutching on my chest. I'll be right back. Hold on.
Okay, I'm good. There we go. My cat finally relaxed a little bit. Just pressing the buttons. I come chase top at the end of the street, having and clutching my chest. I am also drinking coffee. She's really stressed. Okay. Uh, I'm okay. Deep breaths. After taking a moment to collect myself, <gasps> I started back back up, walking briefly. Uh, this time, I can see the maid cafe illuminated the sign ahead of me. I approach the entrance and read the neon board. Chateau de Crystal. Welcome home, master. Drinks from just 400 yen. Table charge 500 yen person. Open till 10 p.m. every night. I pass the sign and reach for the for the door handle. Just as uh, somebody hurried throws the door open and. Oh, uh, Noriko. Hi, Aoi. How are you doing? Told you I'd be here. I, I'm really glad to see you. Okay, I'm gonna do whatever I can to get you the job. I will give me a brief wave. She fit. Uh, she fit jets nervously and straightens the ruffle in her dress. I can't believe you have to wear this ridiculous outfit. Yeah, but the costume isn't the worst part of the job. What is the worst part? I know. Listen, is your manager still here? Sorry, hesitates and shakes her head sadly. You just missed him. There are only a few girls inside closing up. Still? Damn it. Ugh, I really wanted to give him a piece of my mind. Noriko, it's fine. I can continue working here. It's not so bad. No, you shouldn't st you shouldn't keep working here. I got a job for you. Hell no. Don't even pretend it's okay. This place is torturing you. Yeah. You that customer that always gropes you and now your manager is controlling you? I won't stand for it and you shouldn't either. Yeah. What can I do? You you can quit. You just you just need to stop coming here. I honestly jumped by the question in all my hastiness to get here. I never even thought through a plan for a way. Uh, stop coming. Damn it. Damn it. Heartbreaking expression on her face. I just want to grab her, hug her. Clear everything is going to be okay. So, why can't I? Aoi. Hmm? I know you don't feel like it, but... Right. You are the strongest girl I know. Thank you for that, All the bad. shit you've dealt with over the years. All the shit you're still dealing with. You're brave. Whether you know it or not. My issues pale in comparison to yours. But you still get up each and every day and do your best. Yeah. I'm proud of you. And... And I want to make things easier for you. Come work with me at Temujin. Just leave this place behind. Forget all about it. Noriko. You're my best friend. You always will be. Even if we can't be anything more than that, I'm happy just having you in my life. Okay, that's really sweet for you to say, Noriko. I'd do anything for you, Aoi. I hope you realize that. I I'm pretty sure she realizes. Of course, I know. Thank you, Noriko. You're all the best. Let's get out of here. It's really late. Come back to my place. You know I can't. I... Man. All my things are at home, and I need... I need to check everything first. Otherwise... 
Totalmente. Not calmly. Don't worry. I get it. Don't need you. Just leave it behind. And, and the thing is, I can't just run away from this place. You can! You can! Just because he can't contact the police, that doesn't make any sense. Why would he report you? That stalking customer. He knows where I live, and... What? Well, if I stop showing up to work, he said he'll visit me at home. Just need you call the police for him. Why don't we go to the police? I can't do that! Why? And he starts reading. Give me a second. Very so without warning, a wee bursts into tears just as rain begins to spill from the clouds. I can't get him in trouble. I just can't. How he, he, oh, what? What is he? I think he's, um, it's busy right now. He's family. What do you mean he's a family? A gust of wind blows down the narrow street, causing my hair to whip wildly in my face. I brush it out and of my eyes and mouth, only to see Aoi standing still, her head down. What do you mean his family? I don't understand. His family? His your parent? What is he? I I can't understand. I'm confused. What what what? What is he? I can't understand. I can't understand what's going on. Me. Yeah, you have Noriko. You know what I mean. I don't understand, Oi. I'm, I'm just going to go home for tonight. No, no, no. You're coming home with me. Thanks for coming out to see me, Noriko. Oi turns her heel and stroll away. The click clack of her shoes against the wet pavement. Echoing through the street. She doesn't hear me breathe her name as she disappears into the darkness. That poor girl. There has to be a, something I can do. Give her some. Go after Aoi. I can't let her go. I can't let her just walk away, as sad as ha and helpless as she is. My legs lurch forward, 
of their own volition, propelling my body through the rain-soaked street. My shout e e echoes in the night, my weightless words falling throughout through the air like the very rain that patters me. Hold on, let me close. Yep, my. I'm gonna put. There we go, I'm gonna put my pin. Okay, I'll wait. My shout echoes in the night, my witness words fading, falling through the air like the very rain in patterns. Nothing to be done. There's something to be done. Why can't you take a hint? Look, I I want you I want the best of you for you. I you just never give up, do you? Nope. Never giving up on you. You just want to smother me. No, I don't want you to do that. You don't trust me to handle things on my own. Not that, it's just that I have the the perfect job for you. That's not it. I just care for you so much. I know that. You think you haven't made that clear in the past? Honestly, I don't think so. I honestly don't think so. Rarely have I seen a way this angry. She will past the point of being simply upset now. She is truly furious. Have I overstepped a boundary? I am your friend! That's what friends do! I'm going to save. That is that I, I got. Ai, você tá fora da tela. Opa! Valeu! Valeu! Desculpa! Falta! It's not that it. It's not that I don't care of you. It's because I care about you. I care about your uh, well being. Aoi, you're making things difficult. You always take it one step too far. No, I don't. Just leave me alone. Okay. If you want so. I can't get another word before she vanishes into the night. I reach a hand out in the, into the darkness. Look like some foolish attempt to stop her, but I know it's pointless. She made her thoughts perfectly clear. Doesn't need or want my help. My help. Even if she cares for me, she doesn't love me in the same way I love her. And I don't think she ever will. I sigh and look up at the thick cloak of the clouds above. The rain continues to fall. May 34th, Sunday afternoon. The day drags on and on. I don't need. I don't work weekend. Never myself during my free time. The library yesterday was nice, but I don't want to hang out there again today. So far, I've spent 
being at home and doing the occasional cup of cave off my hunger. I keep checking my phone, but Away hasn't replied to any of my tasks, texts. Even when I call, she lets go to voicemail. Really? She really gonna do that? I don't even have any new requests to attend to. I was hoping I would get at least one this weekend to help occupy my time. Take a break from reading Strange Flowers. I decided to browse through noise and see what's happening on my in my social circle. Though I'm not close to any of the people connected to they for a week. Reading through her their posts always lifts my mood. Rather annoyingly, the first post I come across uh, I come across is from Tomoe. Tomomo nine minutes ago. Bitches be tripping if they tripping they're gonna steal my man. We take a stiff. He getting lucky tonight, XX. The grabble the garble garbling post of accompanied by a photo of her and Shinya getting cozy together. Shinya looks more than a little nervous. I would be willing to Bet that Tomoe is the first girl he's ever met. I can't quite figure out why she's so interested or why she's there for the for that matter. At first I thought Tomoe was just trying to bug me, annoy me, by pursuing someone she thought I wanted. But surely this is Talk taking too far, right? Haven't I made it clear that I just don't care? As for Shinya, maybe that boy really needs to blow it up dolls. Look, <sighs> doll look. Yes, I understand him less than I originally thought. Notice that I've been frowning while looking at Tomoe's post so I decided to slam my finger down on the down button a little, uh, a little textbook below the uh, post now reads Noriko Kurosawa dislikes this my frown breaks and I smirk it feels somewhat satisfying to fix it to publicly like Tomoe's post I can imagine Tomoe's face going tomato red when she reads the notification. With a little giggle, I scroll past the, the post and keep browsing my feed. As expected, it doesn't take a long, long to find a post from Shinya himself. It's out of character for him, but, but he's actually not posting about criminal cases and detective work for Shinya, Shinya with the capital S, Fujikawa, 13 hours ago. I never believed in love until I met her. She swept me off my feet and showed, how, showed me how to become a better man. She makes me want to be the best person I can be. My heart goes out to my darling Tomoe, two days together and counting. I look forward to every day because of you. Thank you. I involuntarily gag and continue scrolling. Nothing else in my news feed really compares to those last posts. My sister wrote something about her job and a few co-workers posted about her, how grief. Stricken 
they were about Akane Tsurumaki passing away unexpectedly. Akane Tsurumaki, followed closely by Eichi Hanada, and long before them both, Rui Hatano, the one who started it all. Three strangers, three people dead, all because of Corpsey Girl. People wanted them dead, and because of that, I also wanted them dead. I won't forget their name. When Corpsey Girl rises above the muck and filth, his world and becomes truly famous, I will share a toast to their memories. Until then, I need to trudge forward, I need new targets, new victims, to laugh, Crepsy Girl's name starts. Crepsy Girl's website becomes more than a new urban legend, more than a rumor whispered of in the shadows, then... No, I need to take it slow, I can't get too far ahead of myself. I still need to put, the, put it in a lot of work before I can attain my But the only way I can move forward is if more requests come through the website. There has to be a way to Flashy advertising is out of, out of question. I don't want the site looking like a gimmick of people can visit simply to pass the time. I need word of mouth, testimonial. So far the site has claimed three victims. I need to original, the original requesters to spread the word about how effective the site is. Yes, that would be perfect. But I obviously can't get in touch with them. They remained anonymous when they... No one would willingly contact details. Something so shady in it. Sign and scratch my head. Thinking about... Thinking about it like... This one... Don't do it any good. Maybe I should come back to it later. I reach my laptop, sitting on the couch next to me. Maybe I will take or look for new requests. You never know, right? I log into the administration panel of Carpsy Girls website and check the notif for notification. One new request. Request details. Today, 3031 local time. Victim song. Downloading image attachment. Wait, 3031 pm? This was submitted just a few minutes ago. What are the chances that I would check the incoming request so soon after receiving a new one? My heart begins to race as the attached photo downloads to my computer. I am excited about the new prospect of working on a new request for the rest of the evening. Who will be the poor sucker to succumb to Corpsey Girl's wins? Will another beautiful corpse to be, la be left in my wake? My heart just keeps a beat and my hands instantly turn cold. What the hell? A photo of myself appears in the screen. It's the very same image used for my company ID tag. I'm not smiling in the photo or in real life. Is this some kind of joke? Somebody has requested my death? Somebody has requested my death! She goes crazy. I can't believe it. It finally happened. Yep, she went crazy. I know exactly who requested my death. 
Tomoe? Okay. If you say so. Tomoe Watanabe. The person, the one person who hates me more than I hate myself. Of course, she is the one who uploaded my photo. Of course, she wants Scarpsy Girl to take care of me. She's been looking for somebody to test the website on. Her noise post from the start of the week confirms that. And she has been getting increasingly obsessed with my tormenting with tormenting me lately. I'm willing to bet that when this, I dislike her her latest boss, it finally triggered her request for the, my death. Jeez. In a feat of manic lauder, I set to the work dismembering my photo. I'm going to make my corpse look like so realistic that she would think she really succeeded in getting me killed. And then, when her guard is down... Jeez. June Monday morning. She got held up. It's not exactly professional to be late on your first day of work. With my teeth, hope that Shinya can't sense my anxiety. She'll be here. I don't believe your word. Out of. And then I request you away, sing. Abandon. Not really expecting it. Bye. Actually, she's not the only one absent. Tomoe isn't here either. Doesn't tell me that. I've been watching her desk like a hawk. Ever since I came in this morning. There's a small surprise waiting for her. Her desk top. Drawer, courtesy of Chris Trulli. I've been eagerly debating her arrival for an hour now. We had a late night last night, so I wonder if she woke up on time. Honestly, I think she didn't. I taste something foul in my mouth. I don't really need Shinya's recap. Recap. Off his night with Tom. Don't you have work to do? Ah, of course, I need to. Vocalized thoughts trail off as there's a way. Why did you bunk me? I, 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 is innocent. Thank you for the head pet. Thank you for the head pet. Sir, how are you doing? Return my focus to the keyboard in front of the type, letters scroll across my screen seemingly. Slower than you. How are you doing, Neon? Thank you so much for joining. No away, no tomoe. The static drone of office environment is just as loud as ever, but without those two here, something off. Away shouldn't be missing. First day of work and say what you want about Tomoe, the very least, punctual for her to be late, very unusual. Kurosawa, a word, if you please. You're tired? Go rest! What do you mean? Why are you tired? I'm doing good. Thank you so much for asking. Just reading. A soft but sharp voice snapped me out of my thoughts. I look to find a middle-aged girl woman standing over me, one hand beckoning 
intimidating fashion. Kotomi Ida, an executive of oversees a lot of the juniors on this floor. I deal with her a few times a week. She's a serious and critical person. But I've seen a, a warmer side of her when she chats with colleagues of her own level. Miss Ida, did you need something? Please, come with me. Real reluctantly, rise from my chair and follow her through the office. She leads me to one of the glass screen cubicles that line one wall of the office. Special spaces reserved for the meeting and temporary workstation. Take a seat. I follow her instructions. Instructions sitting down, bright and colorful plastic chairs to fill the small enclosure. A new employee was supposed to start work today. Sato, an acquaintance of yours, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, she was supposed to. That's right. I've been trying to get in contact with her. I see. You understand that it doesn't reflect well on Sato's character if she can't arrive on time for her first day of work, correct? I think she abandoned station, honestly, Kotomi. Yes, I understand. Believe me, it is very out of the ordinary for her to do something like this. Oh, I'm sure. Fujikawa recommended Sato for the job based on your personal request. You need to be aware that since Fujikawa holds rank over you, he is the one who will be reprimanded for hiring an unsuitable employee. Come on, you don't need to act like that, Katomi. No, I wouldn't go so far as to say that he will be punished. Rather, his recommendations will be denied for the foreseeable future. And any attempt he makes to climb the ladder, so to speak, will be vehemently refused by the other executives. Isn't that a bit extreme? All of that because of one temp employee that didn't show up for work? That's the way these things go. I've seen it dozens of times. Never rest. Go rest! I ask you, ask you, asks you to do it. I is always correct. The reason I'm telling you this is because you should feel some sort of responsibility to apologize to Fujikawa. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. I had no idea. Honestly, I. Enough. This isn't an open discussion. Okay, if you say so, Kotomi. Apologize to Fujikawa. And see if he will find it in his heart to forgive you. And please advise him to seek employment elsewhere. I don't foresee his career with us flourishing anytime soon. Don't worry, Katomi, I'm gonna do that. That's all. Katomi abruptly um, exists, exits the cubicle. In Green, green, green light it with red, okay. Um, plastic chair. Um, time and compose my thoughts. We're also walk, walking out. Why did you bonk me? I, 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 innocent. innocent. I don't know what to say to Shinya. I don't even know if I should say, should say anything. Surely Kotomi is being a bit actively haunting Shinya's career at Temujin. All because they're uh, recommended for the job. Like an idiot. But how was I know that Aoi would, would prove unreliable? And still, it's a bit too, it's a far extreme. But to me, thought of line. Something else at play here. I don't feel. I don't. I can't feel it. Maybe Kotomi. Yeah, gone for her own reasons. But I can't imagine I. 
He's a junior employee and exactly what type of that three step on anyone tools make enemies. I return to my desk, sit on a of a huff, and slump my swivel, swivel chair. My eyes fall on the empty can of coffee next to my computer screen, and I begin to wish I'd purchased more than one this morning. Glancing over the top of my screen, I can see that Tom Jules hasn't arrived. Maybe I will have to wait until tomorrow for her to find my the gift I left to her. Thank you! How is your doing so far, Floof? Thank you so much for joining. Hope you enjoy this stream. I'm just reading, so hope you enjoy. Thank you so much for staying here. And for stopping by. Thank you. Maybe I will have to... For her. I am sure she will love it. I don't enjoy my walk home through the park this evening as much as I normally do. There are too many things waiting on my mind. Aoi, Tomoe, Shinya, Otomi? Why is it then that... Oh, thank you for the follow. Hope you enjoy your community. Wait, someone requested Sasikaya? Thank you for stopping uh, I mean, what I mean, thank you for stopping by, because newcomers really don't stop that often, you know? Hold on, give me a second. Read a few. Why is that... Why is it that I'm increasingly finding myself drawn into office drama? I don't want to deal with any of of it. I just want to pursue my own goals. Working at the office is a mean to an end. I a way to keep proof over my head and have the money to achieve Corpsey Girl's ambition. Thank you for the follow. Really appreciate it. Hope you enjoy our community. We're small but we are very welcome. If I could quit, I would, but I can't, not just yet. I wonder if I could monetize Garpsy Girl service. Is there is could pay a fee to request death? Or I could even just accept donation. But I get the sinking feeling like that asking for money will reduce the amount of requests I get. The number of requests coming in is already depressingly low. If I reduce the any further, I will probably be in trouble. As I draw closer to my office building, my phone cries out for attention. I bring it to my ear with my switch and Ali? Noriko, what's the deal? I've been trying to get in touch with you all day. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I I couldn't I couldn't bring myself to come into the office. Why? Yeah, well, I gathered that. Tell me why. You know, just the stuff I normally have to deal with. But you pushed me away. For real? What are we talking about here? Stalkers or your own battles? I I left the apartment twice. We did, but I had to go back inside each time because it didn't feel right. What do you mean? I had to check a few things and then check again, and in the end, I gave up and laid in bed. I must have fallen asleep because when I looked at the time, it was already late. But you could check, you could have showed up. I sighed angrily and hope that Aoi doesn't hear. Like you had a rough day. Okay. I'm sorry, but the 
situation isn't great. I'm just going to be honest with you, okay? I don't think they'll be happy with you if you come in tomorrow. If I were you, I'd write a polite letter of resignation and just forget about the job. Shinya... Shinya's been kind of thrown under the bus because of this. Shinya... Why? I'm not too sure myself. Since he got you the job, I suppose he was somewhat responsible for you. But because you didn't come in, it sounds like his career is in real jeopardy. Oh god. Oh no. Take a breath. You didn't know something like this would happen. I didn't either. I think this one exec has it out for him or something because it's too much of an overreaction. I can't believe it. I never wanted to cost him his job. I know. You didn't mean for this to happen. Look, I'll try and smooth things out a little. I'll talk to Shina tomorrow. You need to look after yourself right now, okay? Promise me you'll just take it easy tonight and relax. Okay. Forget this ever happened. Noriko will look after everything. Thank you, Noriko. I'm gonna try. Honestly, I'm gonna try. Okay. Get some rest. Talk to you soon, Aoi. Bye bye. Bye bye. End the call with a heavy heart. I don't actually have any idea what to do. When it comes to Aoi, I always feel obligated to tell her anything. If I could actually follow through with. And generally make things better for her then oh maybe we have a bit of a different we do now but I probably had the opportunity for that time ago in senior college I was never really truly understanding of it. but that cost me too much things are differently in things are different now of course uh, I've seen what she goes through. I'd like to think I understand her a lot more now. My feelings for her are true and mu not muddled in sympathy or pity. If this is, was a different life and I hadn't made all these those stupid mistakes, mistakes, I would probably be happy to be with her. But now. The best I can hope for is that she wants to remain friends with me and that will have to be enough for it to satisfy me. Yo. That voice. A, tr a trickle of ice sweat drips down my spine. In the near distance, sitting on the bench close to the park's exit is an uneasily Recognizable fig. Come here. What are you doing? He's my on my tracks. My body wants to keep walking, to keep them f the familiar safety on my home, my home. But my brain is engaging its flight or in its fight and flight mode. Torn between my options, I found myself completely stationary. Come on, I won't hurt you. There is no doubt in my mind that she will be waiting for me here all afternoon. She knows my route home. That's obviously since that's obviously since I last encountered her and Shinya is in this very same park. I can't help but tense up as she leaps off the bench and approaches me. You're in a weird shit, right? Like occult stuff. You know your job is in risk, right? Uh, maybe? Is that what you came here to ask me? Nah, just listen, okay? I wanted the opinion of someone freakier than me. Why me, though? You, can a you could ask Shinya. She really knows how to flatter a girl. It's kind of dumb, you know, but... Have you heard of that corpse girl website thing? Who does she think she's talking to? More importantly, how should I respond? I've heard rumors.
rumors. Yeah, right? I heard rumors too, so I checked it out. Mm -hmm. I thought the whole thing was really funny. Like, could it be for real? Anyway, maybe I kinda used it to request a dove. What? Wait, you're... You, you... Wait, you're used to request a death? Hold on, how many times have you asked? Is that so? Amoy has pretty much straight up admitted that she was the one who requested my death. After all, I know exactly how many requests come through the site. The latest one had been to have been from... Yes, I know. I know. Hmm. Fill me in. All you do is put in a photo of a bitch and her phone number. Then she's supposed to drop dead. Simple as that. That easy? <clears throat> that easy? I mean, it's not like I don't know. But for these guys, is, let's keep it up. Thing is, no one knows how it works. It works. I can pretty fulfill you in. It works. Right. Okay, so you requested somebody's death, and what happened? Well, well, did this is where she admits that she uploaded my photo. Hi, Aizan. How are you doing? Give me a little bit of the drink. Drink. You're drinking. I've caught her he red-handed. You see, the dumb bitch went and died. What? I blink a, f a few. Uh, I blink a few times. I am positive that I didn't hear that right. What did you say? The chick whose photo I uploaded. She's deader than a doorknob. Who? You requested to die. Who is someone referring to? My mind is racing frantically, scanning through the list of corpsy girls' victims over the past few months. The only people who have died recently are Akane Tsurumaki and Eiji Hanada. Tomoe is talking about a female, so that rules out that rules all of out Eiji. Then there's Ruri Satano, but she died long time ago. Last year, in fact. Surely Tomoe wasn't the one who requested the, her death. It was way too long ago for her to be bringing it up now. That leads me to believe that she, the only person Tomoe ha, could be talking about is a Kanitsuru Maki. Or has somebody else died? Somebody I never found out about. That's impossible. I've been so throughout the searching for the results of my work. The only victim that Tomoe could be talking about is Akane. But wait, no. That still can't be right. Tomoe requested my death. Somebody. Tomoe uploaded my photo to Crapsy Girl's website just recently. Take a deep, breath, take a deep breath. Follow hard and open my mouth. Tomoe, what you're saying is really serious. Are you sure this person died? Yep, no doubt. And that's what I wanted to talk to you about. This is Tomoe, a Gyaru type. If you're good with this occult junk, how do you think she died from a website? Do you reckon my request really killed her? Because I don't really want this shit on my conscience, you know? I'm not sure if you should be okay with your... Um, conscious. I... I don't know what to say. <laughs> Come on. I was only really joking around with the website. Didn't think for a second that it could really work. Huh, you say. But now, this bitch is cold in the ground, and I can't sleep at night. Keeping Shinya close is the only thing making me calm lately. Okay. 
I'm always seems to be showing a little remorse, which I didn't think she had. If she thought the website was a joke, then fair enough. It's only natural that she want to play around with it. Then again, I'm kind of off offended that she figured out the whole thing was. Pepsi Girl has worked so damn hard, too damn hard to be considered a joke. But I didn't. I I want to get it all uh, the bottom of this. I need to find out whose death Tomoe requested. And more importantly, the question of who requested my own death remains unanswered. Tomoe, what's the name of the person you requested to die? Her name? Oh, you might know her. It was that skank from our office, Akane Surumaki. Oh. Okay. Akane Surumaki. Sure enough, she's well and truly deaf. dead. Tomoe isn't wrong in believing that the website killed the Kani. Tomoe wants to pass on no noise about wanting to try the website and she was wanting to find someone to try it on. If I recall correctly, the website for Akane's death came through Carpsy Girl's website. Shortly after I read the, that post, perhaps Tomoe made the request on the very same day. So then Tomoe was the one responsible. I assume the person who requested Akane's death was someone in our office, but I never figured it would be a junior data entry temp like Tomoe. How did Tomoe even know Akane? I can't see. How their paths would have crossed in such a large office building. Yo, psycho. You in there? I snapped out of my thoughts and meet Tomoe's dead eye gaze. Your professional opinion? Can a website really kill someone? I'm torn between giving two replies. I could state that I believe the website worked and therefore help increase his Carpsigal's credibility, or I could play it safe and make sure that I'm not suspect of any involvement. Coward that I am, I decide to play it safe. No, absolutely not. A website can't kill someone. Guess it's just a coincidence that she died. You reckon I'm not guilty then? I, I didn't really want the bitch dead anyway. I was just mucking around. Okay. Yeah, you're not guilty. Oh, thank God. That's a real weight off my elbows, you know. I see. Mm -hmm. I sure as shit won't mess around with sites like that again, though. I'm gonna play it real straight from now on. Like? I gotta get my life together. I got a man to look after now. Okay. Right. Well, good luck with that. I need to get home. Oh, I want right now it's, it's to get back, figure out what the who the hell uploaded a photo of me to the website. My mind is reeling, and I'm not the right headspace to listen to Tomoe's drivel any longer. Hey. For what it's worth, which ain't much. Thanks. Thanks for putting my mind at ease. Worry. I mean, if I can help someone, even though you assaulted me earlier, I think it's something, I guess. Mm. I know we ain't always seen eye to eye. And? Mm. Nah. That's about it for now. What is this just about it? For a fleeting moment, I imagined that she was about to apologize for assaulting me for last week. That possibly she disappeared from my mind almost as soon as I had it had appeared. See you tomorrow. Tomorrow then. She waves out almost sheepishly and wanders back through the. 
park in the direction I, that I came from. Right, time to go home. I can't relax until I know who requested my death. If it wasn't Tomoe, then this situation could be a lot more serious than I thought. I originally thought. Uh, if it wasn't because of my pity, my petty trouble with her, then someone really wants me dead. You wanna bet it was a way? Do you really wanna bet it was a way? Who is the one who requested my death? Who? A way? I can pretty sure say that to you. I can't sleep. Must be past. Yeah. Countless hours have passed since I started trying. I started trying to figure out who requested me. I've run through every possible possible candidate and their re potential reasons. I asked a thousand times and I have replayed every encounter I've ever had with every person I've met. And I'm drawing a blank. I don't know who wants me dead. I'm not so vain to think that everybody likes me. I'm sure a hell of a lot of people don't like me very much at all. But does anyone like me enough, not like me enough to want me dead? To nominate me for Carpsy Girls to claim her as her prey? I think little solace uh, in the fact that my life isn't actually in danger. Carpsy Girls victims are only brought by my hand. So my convictions are strong and I never refuse a request. Taking my own life is absolutely out of question. This is one of my own and the only requests I would ever refuse. And it's not for the sake of my own life, but rather for the sake of Corpsy Girl's continued existence. I will not let her die and be buried with me. However, now that I've eaten of the knowledge, so that leaves the pit. It's doubtful she wouldn't wouldn't even report her stalker, a guy who she is apparently related to, to, to the police, because she didn't want him arrested. Then she, there is Shinya Fujikawa. Another acquaintance from school that now and now my co-worker, he has even gone so far as to call us friends. Now that uh, we're connected on now, I've never been genetically linked, but I was under the false impression that he had feelings for me. He's a wannabe wanna be detective. But he doesn't have the competence to follow in his father's footsteps. He doesn't strike him as the type that you want somebody somebody dead. Let him to go through with requesting somebody's death. Still, quiet, guarded people like him can really surprise you. When you take those three out of the equation, the people I deal with daily are very few. There are the higher ups and the execs at work, like Katomi Ida. But our dealings are so short that and they're sim and simple that I'm sure I barely even register register. Um and they're on the radar. If I extend my list of candidates that, uh, to include people that I don't deal with, with regularly, 
But who are technically still part of my life? Then the list gets a little more interesting. Harder to know. Kenji and Momo Ogawa, the father and daughter living in apartment building. They're sweet, kind, and compassionate. Couldn't imagine they want to kill me unless I'm really using it to work. Too much of their internet, but just can't take it anymore. There is my elder sister, of course, you, Kurosawa. We haven't talked over a year at least. She's come and probably not the type of randomly elect her own sister for death, probably. She's a pearl, so I have to believe she wouldn't do anything to jeopardize my freedom. And there's mother, Asuna Kurosawa. She's simply not in the position to submit my details to Corpsey Girl's website. My struggling brain can't think of anyone currently in my... I have a very small social circle. It's true. All the people that fill my noise newsfeed have either already been this. Or they ha are from such a small, a long time, long ago, part of my life that they wouldn't even remember I existed. And then, suddenly, and without warning, a face pops to my mind with startling clarity. The guy from the book, from the library, Kojiro, was it? Kojiro? With no surname. He was bizarre, eccentric. Didn't it seem like the type of person to get outside much? Kind of like me, I suppose. His eyes were so clear. It was unnerving. They say the eyes are the window to the soul, but I couldn't see anything of substance to his lenses. Out of everyone, I really. He seems like the, the person mostly capable of taking someone's life to be a biased opinion based on little to no knowledge of him. It's just the impression that he gives. However, I have no. Uh, I have to ask myself, would. He probably want me dead, dead, me and me, a person he met one time at the library. In addition, the photo of me he that was uploaded of to the website was from Temujin Corporate. It's a very same picture that I wear on my ID tag. How would Kujiro have access, accessed me if he was? Get going to upload fo a photo of me would have been found my file from the from one of my album. There aren't too many photos of me on there, but there are enough to identify me. The guy is suspicious, but I don't think he's the one I'm yet. I can't get his face out of my mind. On a win, I snatch up my phone from beside me of the screen. The, bri the bright light shines like a beacon in the darkness. Nearly blinds me, but I screamed and navigate to the noise app. Kujiro, he told me that his noise tag didn't hit. If I can remember, he gave me the whole of having to look through hundreds of files with the same name just to find him. What was it? Jiro? No, the same.
Sorry, my cat got in the way. What was it? Jerome? Not... No, too simple. Uh... Ahuba... Koji... Some... I start to type different variations. So... It's auto-predicted. Result pops up. Koji Koji. That's the one. I tapped the result in... I've... What's his profile? The info in his about me section is pretty vague, but judging by the, this, the photo, I'm certain this is the right guy. Koji Koji, just your average guy taking my days one at a time. Introvert, anti-social, anti-establishment, anti-everything. Wow. I like peanut butter. I stroke throughout his feed and see that he hasn't posted anything for quite some time. Most recently, from about a year. And it's just an updated version of his display picture where he has cropped out of a woman's face and body. So he focused on him. Hold on. Hey, this is Koji from the library. It's Rico. Kurosawa thinks it's best. Since it's past 3 a.m., I'm not expecting a reply until it instantly receive a message for responses. Hi, late night. He responded, he replied so quickly. Replied so quickly. I swallow and gather the nerve to, um, to ask him on my what's on my mind. Yes, I can't sleep. Have you heard of Carpsy Girls? Right. The screen states that he's currently typing a, a message, but they, then no notifications, he disappears and no message comes through. Yeah, I think I'm gonna finish here. Thank you so much everyone for being here. Ignoring me? Then... Yes. Does know about the web. The question is, was he it or just do I mention? What are your thoughts? Is Yes, love it. Big fun. Big fan. I see, me too. Have you used it? No, well not yet. No, not yet. 